Hello everyone, good morning and welcome back to Uplift to Five. Today we're going to be talking about faith, leveling up your work with faith. Um, you know, many of us are Christians, many of us have given our lives to Christ, but how do you level it up? How do you get to the next level on your spiritual work with God? Working with God is a very spiritual thing, it's a spiritual journey indeed, like I've already said. And um, a lot of things could come into this strat us. So I just want us to level up that our work with God. So how? Let's get into how. Number one, deepen your connection with God. Deepening your connection with God is, is everything. You know, the world is so fast-paced, but you must decide that no matter what, you're going to stay in that with God. How do you do You do that by continuous worship. Worship, immerse yourself in worshiping God. Lift up your voice and worship God. Now, it doesn't really matter um, the your voice or the music. It's just um, it's spirit to spirit connection that matters. You know, worship God. Getting to that point, you you start to groom. You start to mother things that someone else cannot understand. So get in touch with God because you can read miracles. When God makes you His own favorite, there's a lot of things are attached to it. It doesn't just go like that. Number one, we have already mentioned worship. Two, the study of the word of the Lord. The Bible says that thy word have I put in my heart. And I may not sin against thee. In Psalm 1, 1 verse 9, the Bible says, Thy word is a light unto my path. That means that the word of God provides direction for God for us. The word of the Lord gives us clarity on our path. Imagine you're going on a journey and you don't really know where you're going to. And um, or you know where you're going to, but you don't know the way, the way to get there. Now you need something to guide you. The word of the Lord is that guide. The word of the Lord is, it gives us inspiration. It brings us comfort. It helps us um, to um have that um, conviction that the spirit of the lord is with us the spirit of the lord and uh, i want to quickly say that praying in tongues is not something to be joked with it's not something to be used as kids it's not something to laugh at, at because it's a form of blasphemy against the holy spirit speaking in tongues purely is a holy, holy spirit work it's the work of god it's, it's the evidence that the holy spirit is there in our hearts to help us, the Holy Spirit um, wants to um, guide be us with that we're not only on our own, it's there with us. The Holy Spirit is the greatest thing that can happen to us. Having Him in our lives can become a source of huge inspiration for whatever we're doing. So that's one key way, speaking in tongues on your own, take time to pray in the Holy Ghost, speak in tongues, it will energize you, your spirit mind. Because like I said, we're talking about spiritual awake, awakening. Yes. Your relationship with God as a Christian is a spiritual thing. And you need to always stir up that spirit in you by praying in the Holy Ghost. Yes. To do that. Another point is interceding. Interceding is um, going a little bit deeper than, uh, than praying. Praying just communicating with God about your day-to-day -day activity, about your personal life and the things you need. I want from him intercession is it goes a long way to talk about another person um interceding for someone else and we thank god for the holy ghost with helping us here on earth but jesus christ is our advocate there in heaven he's always talking to god about our needs god is always listening to jesus christ who who is speaking on our behalf we can become a, an intercessor for others let us learn to give time talking about others to God and not just our personal needs. And talking about that intercession, I want to talk about thanksgiving. We should always approach God with thanksgiving. We should always be grateful for those things that He has done for us. Thank you. Because when we thank Him, it is going to do more for us, to make us more happy. It's just like in a mother that is happy when the child is happy, if the father that is happy when the child is happy. This is how God is when we are sad. God does not feel good either. Although our situations um, may, um, may look like God does not see us, does not see our suffering, but he does see us. 
Remember, Jesus Christ himself suffered a lot and God was there watching him because there was a purpose why he was going through what he went through. So that's just the thing. There is a purpose in your suffering. There is a message out of your mess. There is something going to come out of it. Something good will come out of it. Gold comes out of fire. But when you're seeing and you're admiring the final stage of the gold, you do not admire the process. You do not know what that gold has gone through. So that's the same way. <laughs> I remember when I was talking to my friend, Chinere, that um, she, of blessed memory, she was, and she said, when God wants to give you um, something immediately, okay, maybe if God just wants to give you like corn. You know, it takes a um, few months for corn to grow. And, um, but a palm tree takes years to grow so if you have not gotten your answer immediately it's because God is planning something big for you and and that is very true God is planning something big for you and so that was a very strong advice for me and uh, I looked further into it and I saw that that was really um, true that God um, wants to give us something um, more it may take much um, much time to um, achieve okay too much time in our own estimate because i saw something someone wrote and i read it and i you know maybe she could have a reason for putting it that way she said god does not come late at all right now i do not see anything as being late in my life i believe that there is um timing for everything now a human being may say it is late but to so God is not late. That was his own time. The Bible says that a thousand years is like a day in his sight. That means he has his own time. So uh, deeply in our work with God must also help us um, to know that God's ways are not our ways. God's eyes, the way God sees things and not the way um, we see things, the way we understand things and not the way God understands things. So uh -huh. um, this leveling up I'm talking about is we need to be in tune with God. We need to be in line with God. Let us get closer in our relationship with God. We can um, take relationship with God as before. It's not going to be same old, same old. Yes, <laughs> yes exactly. So I was uh, telling my students um, yes, last week and I was saying um, it's not going to be um, the same old way. Whatever, however way you um, approach things. It's, it's not supposed to be the same old way. There must be something new, something um, um, significant in what you're doing. So Thank approach you. Approach your world with God in a much different way. Get closer to Him so He can. When we get closer to Him, we'll begin to see as He sees. Like this illustration I always use, like when God saw the um, red, red Sea before the Israelites, what God saw was a dry ground. He already saw a way in the midst of it. Yes. When Israel came there, what did they see? They saw water. They saw a hindrance. They saw an obstacle. So if we start to see it like God, that means that in every obstacle, we must see a way there. We must know in our heart that there is a way around this. There must be a way to beat this. I can overcome this. That's positive. You must always have that positive mindset in you that uh, God is for you for you god is with you that means the higher force the greater power is with you okay this illustration of elijah um when elijah wanted to fight a particular situation and they were looking at him and be like oh elijah it's only you it's only you or me and the, you know the servant was telling him that only us and look at this whole great army <laughs> I said, elijah was like so you don't even know who is with you <laughs> <laughs> and God opened his eyes to see a great army of God. God is for you. God is with you. And yes. um, the next thing is experience God's presence. I've already talked about spirit being in us, guiding us in every facet of our life. And that is if we let him. If you have not let him into your heart, it's not going to guide you. It's not going because that's if you're still in sin. That's, that's another force. A lower force is in you. Even though the lower force, the negative force, makes more noise and seems so big, but it's not the higher power. The higher power is the spirit of God. So um, get in tune with the Holy Spirit. It will um, the presence of the Lord will change a lot of things in our lives. It will help us to become better, become stronger. 
especially through who he is. That's why I wrote down here that experiencing God, especially experiencing who he is in our life, that he is a healer, then you experience healing. He's a shepherd, then you experience security, protection, provision. <laughs> that he is a counselor, then you experience um, counsel, guidance, wisdom in the things you do, in the way you do things, in what you achieve. That he is the one who is always there for us. Then you experience a uh, clarity. You're not confusing your in your part. That's just and that is um where I'll be wrapping this up today. Um, level up your work with God is everything for this year, 2024, and all the years to come. You need to ensure. And finally, let me add um grow your faith together with um a good fellowship with God in uh, and others. The Bible says iron sharpened iron. It means that you need one or two people in your life you could look up to, to counsel you, to guide you. Um, it could be a church, it could be um, a, a sister community, it could be whatever. Just find a more, find corporate fellowship. Do not forsake the gathering of the people of God. It will also help you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't, don't um, forget to give this video a thumbs up, a like, or a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you till I see you next time. Yes, I have something else to share with you. I want to share some personal miracles I've experienced by leveling up my journey with God.